shooting his son. Do that again. <laughs> Did I absolutely f*** that up? <laughs> Shh, we're shooting at sunrise with Richie Hogan. Tell me you're in Ireland without telling me you're in Ireland. Random, Richie, huh? Very random, Mark. Very random. Yeah, so we're up at Barnave outside uh, Carlingford. This is the deserted famine village. Another part to the time lapse, and I've got the, the Richie guy. Okay. I've got the Richie guy with me. Um, bit of crack. Oh my good god, there's three planes now flying into the sky. This is ridiculous. So I've jimmy rigged up the motorized slider for this because I forgot to bring the support poles. Because there's a bit, what, what was it actually? But 15 minute walk? 15. Yeah, about 15 minute walk. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of high ish. But um, I forgot the poles. So. Back into a DIY Sunday. It is a Sunday morning and now I do have the interval set for every five seconds just because these horses keep coming in and out. If they stay static enough in the shot, it means that you'll see them for longer in the time lapse. Um, so if you think about it, 25 frames a second for him to stay for one, I don't even know if it's a him, it could be a she. Um, for that to stay in the shot for one split second, it needs to be taken 25 photos with a five second interval, so it has to stay there for 125 seconds without moving. So two minutes to last one second when you view this video, finally. That's a tough ask for an animal, a tough ask, but I think it's actually scratching its arse off the wall. It is. Get the scratch on. And here comes the drone. Oh, they did not like that, Richie. Yeah, none of them like that now. They're away. Richard, you're disturbing the wildlife there with that <laughs> drone. Drone operators, they just have no common courtesy at all. Goes on a photo shoot, brings his Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, the children of these days, huh? Look at you, you little millennial. You play a bunch of little uh, computer game there, yeah? So what height are you actually flying there? Uh, 45 meters. That is absolutely class. Yeah, dude. That is awesome. <laughs> Richie just recorded me a video for this video. It's so nice. <laughs> You'll see that video right now. You're not getting it for free, Mark. Can't pay the bills with free, Mark. There's a coffee shop on the way home. That'll do, pig. That'll yeah, do. That'll, that'll <laughs> so Richie is rocking. What are you rocking again, Richie? Uh, Z6. Z6. And I'm rocking the A7 III with the Tamron 17, the 28, and the H and Y filters. And that is the YC Onion motorized slider. And then the Vanguard VO3 Plus with the ball head from the VO3 Plus T because I, I rather it than the other one that I got with it. I have to say, with the lockdowns, I didn't miss... Um... Richard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> but yes, yeah, I didn't miss, I didn't miss Richard. <laughs> Uh, no, um, what are those called? They're not called. I didn't miss the chemtrails, even though people say there is no such thing as chemtrails. You can decide that for yourself, whatever. Once again, I use a soft grad, and I didn't didn't really need to use it at all. Uh, There's a lot of haze that I didn't see in, uh, in the weather forecast. Like the sun has, hasn't even come out of the haze yet. I think it's starting. Yeah, it's just starting to come out, and my time ups of the. The movement has finished. There's a halo on the right. See that over there? Do you see it? The line down? Oh yeah. Yeah. This goes to show the haze. So the sun is 
peering over the haze and it's causing like a, a if you want to think of it it's it's like a rainbow within the clouds it's it's a strange one sometimes it has a full circle as well it's just a streak in this one though. you see there just to the right of the sun you have this halo and it's just because it's it's rising above the haze still nice to see it's nice to get in the shot just as we get ready to pack up the sun comes out of the haze and look at that That's quality. That is quality. That's that's why we get up at five in the morning. Or in Richie's case, that's why he leaves his house at five in the morning. I didn't get out of bed till he left his house. <laughs> the joys of living 20 minutes away from here. Um, or as normal people call it, the sticks. I'm not going to argue with him. We are in the middle of the sticks. We're on the side of a mountain. Like, But I'm not from the sticks. I'm from a town. Those from Dublin like to call their city a town. They're going into town makes no sense at all. I'm not from the sticks. No, I'm not. I'm from a town. Second largest town in the country. The largest town in Loud. Explain that. Johara is the largest town in Ireland and Dundalk is the largest town in Loud. Yet both towns are in Loud. Leave a comment below and let me know how that works out. As Richie said, Great way to start a Sunday. Now, uh, Richie, if you don't mind, you did promise that you'd uh, take that stuff apart from me, yeah? So, um, I'll meet you, I'll meet you down. I'll see you there, right? Yeah, cool. The horse are gonna have some expensive gear, Marco. See you later, Richie. Take care of my gear. See you later, Mark's gear. What do you mean? What do you mean, see you later, Mark's gear? Wait, you said you'd take the gear down. I did, me. Do you see how much gear I have to take down? And he promised he'd take it down for me. Oh, just can't trust people anymore. <laughs> <laughs>